Alright, hey guys. So today we're gonna add more authentication stuff, which I seemingly forgot to do uh, in the next in the last video, I think. And then in the next video we're gonna uh, clean up some of these testing stuff and make it a little um, better. But before we get to that, uh, let's go over the authentication stuff that we missed. So the first thing we want to do is well I need to make this bigger so that is control shift plus and we're gonna make a utilities folder so that will be make directory source and utilities where we're gonna make a user direct user decorator okay so source utilities user dot decorator dot ts and this is so that even though we can auth in and we're protecting our routes, we need a way to actually access the user. So this is a pretty simple function that returns a function. Um, so it's just going to be named user and the, the function that NASJS provides us is, uh, what is it called again? It's a... Uh, there is create param decorator, which takes in the function of data and the request object, and we're just gonna give back request dot user. So if we go into our our, our auth controller, I have this um, find all method here that I added um, behind the scenes. But it all it does is uh, it's gonna return all the users that are currently in the database. I have this to do here to remove it after we're done with it because it's for development only, and um, that's also why I didn't make a video for it because it's kind of just there for testing. So, anyways, um, so what what was I doing? Oh, right. So we need to start using the user decorator. So we just do user make sure you don't accidentally destroy one of your parentheses and this is going to be uh, just type of any for now and I'm just going to log it out so we can see the user and let's go back into our handy little ETL script so while it's happening let's start the server Boop, boop. And in our here, we go log in, and we go to the thing, and yeah. So, oh, sh that's not good. JWT requires a secret or secret key. Um, buh, 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 buh. that is because I'm using process dot environment dot secret key, and I think that is why. So, I didn't update my environment files here, so uh, let's just do that. Oops. Secret key is equal to, for now it's going to be just secret key. Uh, since we're in development, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we're going down. Alright, so let's start that, that again. Do, do, do. Everything looks good. Let's make a window. And in our ETL job, we are logging in and we're hitting the auth root route, which is this route. And we should be able to see which user is logged in. So I'm going to thought yard. It's node etl.js invalid credentials. Um, things look good over here. I might just not have a user. So, let's just update this to the register route. And see what happens. Alright. So, we have an array of users, which is what we're expecting. And if we go into our node thing, uh, we are getting the user object which is coming from our 
uh, user decorator. So that's working, which is good. Now all we need to do is make a new file. So I'm going to make another directory called uh, guards. And we're going to make a seller guard. So we're, we're going to create more authentication uh, based on the user's type. Because uh, if you remember in our models, a uh, user has this field called seller, which is a boolean. And if it's true, it means the user is a seller, which grants them more permission to do things. And in, in the context of e-commerce, it would mean that you're um, allowed to list items to sell to other users. Um, yeah, so I didn't make that file yet, so yeah. Touch source guards um, seller dot guard dot ts. Did I spell this wrong? Yes, I did. All right. New source guards seller to source guards seller dot guard dot ts, and that should. If you, sell, if you spell it right, your icon should change to an angular icon. Um, yeah, it's not super important, but that it was going to bug me. Anyways, um, do, do, do. I need to remember what it looks like. So here you go. So it's going to be an injectable. Injectable. Export uh, class seller guard and it's gonna implement um, the interface of can activate which comes from Nest.js which all that means is um, you have to have a method called can activate and it has to return a boolean a boolean or a promise of a boolean or an observable of a boolean so uh, you can keep that in mind and do we need any dependencies? I don't, yeah, I don't think so. So all we need to do is um, access the uh, request object, which we can do with the um, execution host. No. The execution context, I'm sorry. Execution context. And we'll just extract the request object from that. So const request equals to context dot switch to HTTP dot get request. And I spelled it like this in my code, so I'll just keep that. And we'll check if the if a user is present. So request dot user if user dot seller. Actually, if there is no user, well, well, that should be fine. Uh, just in case, I'm going to do this. So if the user exists and the user.seller property is truthy, uh, then we'll return true. Otherwise, uh, we'll just um, throw an error. So throw new HTTP exception. And the status code is going to be status of unauthorized. And our error message is just going to be um, unauthorized. Unauthorized access. All right, cool. So if we go back into our controller, and we're going to add the guard into the use guards decorator. And we just do uh, seller guard here, like so. And let's check our ETL job. Uh, we don't have, I guess I can change this to login now. Um, so we don't have the seller uh, property set to true. So we should um, trigger an error. So let's go in here and do node 
ttl.js and we get unauthorized access which is what we were expecting um, which doesn't trigger the route which doesn't give us the user object in our user request um, I mean our user decorator but now if we go in here and set seller to true when we register as a new user and I, just, I think I'm just going to bump this up to 3 and run the job again uh, so now we hit the the route and we're getting all the users again and I have Kelvin 2, 3, just Kelvin, we have seller, username, a bunch of stuff alright and we also get the user object all right, cool. So that is all the auth authentication stuff I wanted to get over or get through today. Um, I, I guess we could write a test now. So let's. Oops. Uh, yarn test end to end. Uh, everything should pass because I didn't change anything at least I didn't change anything major so yeah so we have should ping should register user should reject duplicates should log in so no actually I'll, I'll save this for the next uh, video anyways I'll see you guys next time